Hi! How nice of you to join us, everyone. Do we have anyone here? Sound check, check sound, sound check. If you're here, might want to confirm. Hey, hey, says Zenta69. Hey, dog. <laughs> Can you hear us? Are we good? Do we have sound? Shoot. Apparently, we. No one is actively saying that we don't have sound, so I assume we do. I can listen in a little bit myself. We do seem to have sound. Okay. Hoping Great. that our sound is uh, is good. Uh, oops. I have had a bit of had some issues setting up the sound. I had a lot of complaints about low sound levels on. My streams. Yeah, I was uh, I was just saying on the other hand that uh, when I've watched uh, your old streams, I've I've never seen really noticed anything strange about the sound that I thought of. <laughs> Zantid sixty nine says the sound is very muffled. Maybe if you guys take off your shirts. <laughs> I'm not sure that's gonna help. <laughs> <laughs> Fooled me once, shame on me. Or you you fool me twice, well you're not gonna do it again. As George W. Bush famously punted. He did. Yeah, he did. He, okay. he didn't. He wasn't. Was not able to finish the saying properly. I think so. The saying is, you know, "Fool me once, shame on you. Okay. Fool me twice, shame on me." But he failed. Sound is actually way better than it used to be. Says thirty second advertisement. I literally couldn't hear you at max volume. Okay. Right on. Well, in that case, I guess the uh, mic amplification settings help something. Something at least. Let us hope so. So uh, I'm Bjorn. Nom de Guerre Jorb, this is Frederick, Nom de Guerre Loftar, and we are the dynamic developer duo behind Haven and Hearth, as most of you, I'm sure, are aware. And uh, today we're going to talk about the fighting system that we've been working on. And it, because I guess we're, we were at a bit of an impasse. Yeah, so, I yeah, I suggest, I, I suggest we, 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 we play it like this. Let's, let's take a fight first. You and me fight. We are right now recording from our test server. So let's do a fight and we'll talk about it after. Okay. So I'm going I'm I'm to I'm I'm destroy this noob right now. <laughs> Catch me if you can, bro. Okay. Oof! No, the real problem here is, of course, that I can't really form properly in English. <laughs> Oops, I didn't mean to, to use the spear there. Whoops! Oh. Got me, bro. <laughs> All right, so so this is what we've been working on now. How long have we been working on this? Uh, probably longer than we would like to think. Yeah. <laughs> what is it? It's more more than like two months. I th I actually think it's pretty exactly two months. Right. And uh, we've gotten somewhere. Native. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I got you, bro. No. Oh, no. Oh, there we go. No. There. Won't get you, boy. Oh, for shame. Oh. Ooh. You're sneezing on the job there. No. Bam. So, as you can see, this system is movement based, or and very much unlike any previous combat system that we've had for for Haven at least. We've had a we had a very ooh, ouch. Mm -hmm. That hurt, bro. Oh, oof. There we go. Yoo <laughs> 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 No. Oh no! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> uh, not looking good for the blue team. <laughs> yes! Oh, there we go! Always with that thing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> good game, with, well played. So, oh, oh, of course, the real reason I lost here is because I can't uh, can't hold properly in English again. That's uh, that's the real problem here. Insult sword fighting, as in Monkey Island. 
<laughs> Have you ever played Monkey Island? No, I haven't actually. Insult sword fighting is, is, is a mini game in most oh, of the I games. see. Makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> you, yeah, you're basically fencing, and your aptitude is fe- at fencing is largely determined by how well, well you're What is that word again? I think there is some some old Germanic word for insult fighting. Right on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there is. should be. <laughs> Can't remember it at the moment, though. But right on. Um, Leprechaun's Pod says, before anybody says anything, new fighting system, awesome and literally best we've ever had. No discuss, keep improving it, throwing shekels. Yeah, that's not, it's not the first time we've heard that. Yeah, which is, so which makes us hopeful about it, I guess. Yeah, that's y- uniquely for this fighting system. We've, we've had a feedback. fair bit of positive feedback on it. Indeed. A lot of the people who've tried it out on the test server that we have running, that you can go play it as well on the test server if you haven't, please do. And we've gotten a unusually good feedback. And a lot of people haven't haven't actually hated it. Yeah, exactly. I mean, a lot of people have actually expressed positive sentiments about it. And exactly. I think I think that's the first time, like ever. Yeah, like ever. Yeah. because usually. I mean, even even Legacy Spiking System, which is now held in high esteem by some people who don't really, I think, know what they're talking about, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it wasn't that positively. Received no. initially, I think. No, I don't. Rather, no. that has been a development afterwards as people yeah. have been learning to play around it, so to speak. Yeah, exactly. As the meta game kind of developed, I, I think people came to have a more positive opinion of it. Yeah, they, and uh, so, positives about this fighting system is a we've we've gotten positive feedback on it, which yeah. is unusual. Usually, we we get like negative to to like mildly. Disinterested and they <laughs> comments on, on <laughs> things like this. Usually, this is one of the reasons we usually don't run test servers is that we rarely find that they, you know, feel helpful. In this case, I, I feel that it's been more helpful and more meaningful than than usually, perhaps. Uh, that that uh, I don't know. That is perhaps somewhat more doubtful. I'm I'm not sure. Well, it has been somewhat helpful. I think the previous test systems have been, have been somewhat helpful. Somewhat as helpful, well. Yeah, sure. It's just uh, as usual. It's it's like when when the testing isn't done for real in the real environment on the real server. It's always a bit academic. Yeah. And it's always hard to tell like. How relevant is this feedback actually in reality? Yes, yeah, because yeah. because you're not fighting with real stakes and it's not it's not for real. Yeah. Right. Uh, small timer echoes um, Leprechaun Spot's sentiment and says, "I second what Leprechaun Spot said. Combat system looks very interesting. I like it a lot." Uh, so uh, and also says, "Remember, negative people are usually more vocal than satisfied people are. So if you've heard most positive comments, that's good." And he's probably right about there, that. There's probably a case to be made. I mean, what 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 I'm one of the things that that I am mostly worried about, and I think that it's a shared sentiment, is the latency issue. Yeah, let, let's go through it. Like positives, yeah. we've gotten good feedback on it. Yeah, it's fun. It, it is actually fun where we, when when we sit here playing it locally with yeah. one with some uh, sub one millisecond pings. Yeah, it's actually fun. We're having fun with it. We do have several avenues of future development. Yeah, and there are there are lots of things that we would like to do. Yeah, we and if possible, we would really like to continue working on it. For sure, and uh, I, and and yeah, again, that I, I think there's a lot of space, design space, to add more maneuvers, to mm-hmm. add more like attacks, and to to, de- very to, much to so. develop the system and move very much so. I don't feel that we're like stuck in development or anything, Indeed, which is not an unusual problem when we are working on yeah, systems. because yeah, and, and as you can, you know, if you look at the system that's running on the the real live server right now, I feel that there are a lot of moves there that are really questionable in terms yes, of like their effect so. and what they do. Yeah. They're, they're usually, so. a lot of them are just like small on variations the on moves other moves. We've added thus far are <coughs> distinct than I think, except perhaps for Chop and Sting now, but... Yeah, but I, I, there is a distinction between Chop there and Sting. There is a distinction, but, but there is a far lesser distinction than between every other move. They differ significantly in what weapons you can use them with. Sure, but and and for me, using a spear, I forego the ability to use cleave, for example. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And and, and I just I, mean, I just mean, say, given the amount of differences between them, like Sting could just use all weapons, and we could remove Chop, and not much would be lost. Um. Well, sure, but I mean, it's I, not I can't, entirely true. But I can't chop. With anyway, that's a detail. It's not really the important part here. Yeah. No. And. Uh, so, so that those things feel feel good. I think there are three issues, perhaps, that concern us. Mm-hmm. It's latency. Latency, first and foremost. First and foremost, this is the, in this system. Unlike previous Haven 
in hearth combat systems, you can miss in the system, which mm -hmm. means that timing is significantly more uh, mm -hmm. important and crucial, which means that if you're sitting, for example, in the United States and you have, what, a 100, 100 millisecond ping, mm -hmm. uh, upwards of like 200, 300. It could yeah, be I, 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 I would say that I, I suspect that many of the people who are, who are reporting like two or 300 millisecond pings from the United States are probably measuring that from within the client, yeah. which includes some other sources of latency, like internal processing and server and such things, right. that, you know, while perhaps not a good thing, are at least shared by all players. Sure. Um, but then, you know, there, there could be people sitting in Australia and like, well, yeah, what, what kind of ping would they yeah, have? Definitely. And even, even if, if we, when you did the, we ran a calculation on, on, you know, the speed of light and, you know, the theoretical pings from the Yeah, exactly. States, and and, and there's still like 100 milliseconds like say, say, 60 or 70 milliseconds or something like that. So there's there's not a whole, a whole lot of room for improvement. Yeah, so and, to speak. and that is still a significant, you know, ping, especially in a situation where where, where it matters significantly. Mm -hmm. So latency is an issue, and this this latency is was less of an issue, I think, in uh, in the other combat systems. Well, that that is perhaps an open question, at least. Yeah. I mean, the counter argument here has been that. As people actually play those systems, mm -hmm. I think latency does matter a lot anyway. Because for sure, latency certainly matters. I mean, when we look at when we look at fights that we've seen like recorded on video and mm -hmm. whatnot, people people move around constantly. People mm -hmm. are, are always like you know dashing in and out and trying to you know maneuver around. Yeah, exactly. Fights. Doing the attacks at the exact right uh, right times, right and with the exact right time, it does seem to matter a lot. Still. Yeah. But nevertheless, the common system is at least not intrinsically so latency bound. Yeah, and you don't, you do not have the the aspect of you know trying to to say like time your attack to land when mm. your opponent will be in mm. a specific place, and you know yeah. it, latency will matter more in this system for sure because in in the other system you can't miss like if yeah, exactly. you, if you get up to to within you know combat dis you know action range of the opponent in the presently running system you will hit him. Yeah, exactly. so and and th that's a major difference. Uh, another thing that kind of concerns me, I don't know, but another thing that's that's certainly you know on, on my mind is that it's it's um, very different from from the combat systems that Haven traditionally has had, um, which have been you know more more in that vein, and that you know latency has mattered less, and, and you know exactly. also just you know in terms of like being spiritually true to itself and whatever it's I'm yeah exactly i mean they've been more laid back so to speak yeah especially when doing pve yeah especially when doing PvE. which is you know maybe or maybe not a good thing mind you but yeah. nevertheless because because in pve the, the running systems and and arguably that should probably change anyway the, the animals mm. should probably move yes, a lot yes, more than they do very much even so. even under you know the presently running on the, the real and server they, regime they, and it, we've, been, we've actually been talking about that for quite some while. It's just that it hasn't really felt uh, particularly like a good idea to uh, to refine the uh, the AI there when we know that we when we've always known that we want to do a new combat system anyway. Yeah, and um, so Zentet sixty nine says, uh, wouldn't this be the same issue in literally any MMO on the planet though? If you are going to PvP in an MMO. Uh, latency is just something you deal with. Yeah, There's sure. also a whole, lot, whole range of commercial and free VPNs aimed at helping uh, this for people with bad connections. Yeah, again, uh, as for the VPN issue, like, again, as, as you already mentioned, when, when, when considering the latency against the United States, you can't really improve it. I mean, you can't improve beyond the speed of light. No. And there isn't a whole lot of room for improvement there, really. Well, can you? <laughs> Who knows, perhaps, but <laughs> open a wormhole. And yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah. because we actually were discussing that idea, if like we could get a more dedicated connection to the United States and set up a local like traffic point over there, mm -hmm. and perhaps do then do the same thing for for the East Asian regions or something, yeah. then that could be an idea. But again, given the speed of light constraints, I really don't think it's going to make much of a difference. It could perhaps make a difference for Australia, but yeah. And the third issue that kind of concerns us a little bit is the uh, perspective of uh, client, uh, user-developed client aids exactly. that can help and aid you in the fight. For example, exactly. when you execute a maneuver, like say cleave against me, I could have a script running that you know immediately sends my character on on like the the calculated shortest path out of the hit zone. Exactly. Stuff like that is, is things that we've considered. That hasn't been as much of an issue in the older systems because, you know, targeting is not really an issue there. Exactly. So that would be more of a thing. 
and uh, yeah, we, we did a quick inventory of the the solutions that other like MMOs and, and online games employ to combat cheating, quote unquote, mm -hmm. and it's pretty draconic and dumb. Exactly. <laughs> so, <laughs> really. so um, I, I can even let, let's even go take a look at what was it called, Battle Eye? Yeah, exactly. I, I think it was. I think it was Battle Eye. Yes. <laughs> this is like uh, Battle Eye. Battle Eye, the Battle Eye, and this is apparently some some sort of software that a lot of games employ to they, they build themselves as the anti cheat gold standard. And just by looking at like their their recent tweets and shit, it's like, um, hey, PUBG players, due to a glitch in our system, we have banned a bunch of innocent players within the past hour. We are really <laughs> sorry for this and are working on reverting all fans false bans ASAP. <laughs> and also, second tweet. We have banned over 1,044,000 PUBG cheaters in January alone. Unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, things continue to escalate. <laughs> like, I mean, is that really a stat? You should brag about it. Exactly. So, so we banned a million players from the game. <laughs> and it's still getting worse. <laughs> and it's only getting worse. <laughs> like, and this is apparently the, the anti-cheat gold standard. <laughs> yeah. And, and a lot of games apparently use this. Like I think, um, uh, what's it called? The uh, the Fortnite uses this, I believe. Mm, I think so. Yes. And uh, yeah, PUBG obviously uses it. Yeah, and there are other systems as well. I think like CS:GO uses something called VAC or something. Yeah, and and the and, common and common theme denominator is that they basically try to monitor your, your entire system. You know, try to monitor yeah, the exactly. processes. Yeah, I, I mean, basically, the common theme is that it's 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 an arms race between cheap developers and. The, and battle line developers. Yeah. And you know, if we were to do that, then we'd basically put all our time into that yeah. and nothing else. So I mean, it's it's just completely out of the question. Yeah. So so basically, the conclusion of this little segue here is that, you know, if if we implement this system, then client uh, augmented fighting, mm -hmm. custom client augmented fighting will be a thing. We will not be able to stop that, and we mm -hmm. will not be investing time into stopping it either. Now that being said. What we have been discussing here is, is the possibility that you know, client augmented fighting doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing. No, exactly. If 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 everyone uses custom clients with these kinds of scripts, then the, then it isn't necessarily unfair, and it could still be fun. Yeah, it it doesn't necessarily become unfun just no. because you just because you use client aids. Yeah, because I don't think that the 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 mechanics. Uh, in any you know essential way uh, depend on you not quote unquote using such scripts or quote unquote mm -hmm. cheating. Uh, unlike, for example, Fortnite, where you know yeah, if, exactly. if, you, I mean, if you do a map hack on Fortnite, so you can always see the enemy, then yeah, you know, and then, 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 then some old aiming bot or something. And yeah. then, you know the mouse skill is basically the core skill in games like Fortnite or yeah. CS:GO. Yeah. So breaking that breaks the game. It breaks, but, breaks the game a lot. But I don't think but that's, that's not true. really the case. At, at least at least not at all as much here. Yeah. That being said, you know we were not, you know, perfect Cassandras with able, you know, ability yeah, exactly. to see into the future. I, mean, I don't know how the generate the situation could get. Like, the, on, I mean, on the other hand, it could be that the, that the, that the, that the whole competition just becomes boring and unfun with with yeah. blind dates, yeah. and that wouldn't be a good situation to be in. Uh, Have we got any re any useful comments? Uh, small timer says, "I'm curious. Do you think a favor the shooter system makes it worse or better? That means if you hit the target on your screen slash client, it's registered as a hit. Overwatch uses it, for example. What does that mean? Let me try get it. I, I think I don't. I, I'm not sure how they how they oh, determine like, that. like the client itself determines whether it's a hit uh, because that seems like an it's exceedingly bad. Yeah, but it, it can't yeah. work like that naively. Like maybe I don't know. Maybe." Maybe the the server tries to. I, I have no idea how that works. Um, I have no idea how that works. Sentit sixty nine says you should reward custom client creators then instead of keeping strict scripts to themselves. They give an advantage if they make them public or give them to you to implement on the default client. They get some kind of hat. Yeah, I mean that that's another thing. Like implementing stuff like that on the default client. Um, you know, essentially implementing it in any way, shape, or form would require like a full-on scripting system for the character. Yeah, exactly. I'm not sure that's the place that the, uh, that the default client should be in. And me neither. I, I think that. I mean, that being said, there could be some. Uh, there, there is, of course, room for some 
reasonable client aids being the default client. I mean, we already, we already have auto aiming, for instance. Yeah, we added auto aim, aiming ourselves so early on. Early on, and so <clears throat> yeah, who knows? But it's not like there is no room for that kind of thing. But you know, the kind of you know, especially you know, getting keeping up with the Joneses and the meetup. Yeah. That's not really something I think the default client should even try to do. I tend to agree with that, especially like the, the default client does a lot of things that, that I kind of just feel are, or that we, I think, feel are, are like spiritually wrong or like the, the or rather the custom clients do. Like, like they, they remove the day-night cycle, for example. I can yeah, see why you would want to do that. I could definitely, I, I obviously, I see. Well, I, I mean, if, if, I actually have an even better example of that. I know that some custom clients have a, you know, like a, a action menu key for, for, like, for things like mount the nearest horse. Yeah. And, that, and that's exactly the kind of thing that I really can see the value in. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's like... It's it's the same kind of thing. You could have two hundred actions of that kind. Yeah. You know, like leash the closest horse, leash yeah. to the closest tree, yeah. harvest the nearest crop, yeah. whatever. I mean, and they, they do stuff like that. There's a, yeah, exactly, and they do stuff like that, and I totally see the value in it. It's just you know, it, it feels weird for me to sit here and pick like the specific seventy five mechanics yeah. that should be. Yeah, I, I agree, and, and so so I think that like. The default client being a bare bones client, I think, is is arguably a sane route of development. I mean, I mean that that being said, it should of course be useful. It, yeah, it should be workable. So, so the, you know, the, there's a debate on what features should be included in the default Certainly. client. Uh, and 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 um, you know, I, I don't think you're trying to imply either that like every nifty feature like that would be no, an exactly. auto exclude from the, from and the they, default I client. And if anything, we have implemented some custom client features lately. Yeah, and for like like take uh, pick closest herb for example I you know I, could, I, I, I also wouldn't necessarily mind that that's such a very fundamental thing that yeah. so um, well, we got some comments here uh, 30 second advertisement says I feel like the auto aim and default is a good thing because that's the major cheat I'd anticipate some moves seem cheat proof kick you don't aim the really big off knocks and cleave hitboxes aren't so much aiming as it's coordinating with teammates and not friendly firing but the thin moves like punch and sting seem kind of problematic, cheatable, and suspect susceptible to ping differences. How eh, probably true to some extent. Um, Zented69 says, okay, well, you can still make them so, sort of officially acknowledged, like tipping your hat at a script with a hat and having it in some pin form message for download or something. I don't know. Even, it's on a, even if it's on a custom client, you can sort of like unofficially support it. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. It, yeah, those things kind of aside a little bit, um, like I mean, you know, the high level PvP players are always going to use custom clients anyway. Yeah, I think that that's a, a very real thing. There, there's no way that the, the custom client can ever keep up with like the latest, you know, mm -hmm. rather, rather that the default client can mm -hmm. always excuse, excuse me. <laughs> that the default client can ever keep up with like the bleeding edge of, of custom client exactly. development. It, it's completely unreasonable to expect that that high level PvP players will be using the default client. Yeah. And, 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 you know, I don't even mind that. I mean, I, I, I'm pretty sure that, that games like WoW or any, or any other big game have, you know, custom UIs and stuff. Yeah. And, and I mean, th this is the reason, I mean, the fundamental reason why, why the client is an open source yeah, and why exactly. we support these things is because, because we, we UI understand. is exactly the kind of thing that where one size doesn't fit all. Exactly. And, and you know, we, we, <clears throat> we perfectly understand the need to, to adapt and adopt and blah, blah, mm -hmm. blah. Um, yeah, so, I mean, the, the fundamental fu fundamental question, I guess, that we're asking ourselves is that, okay, so we have some, some pros of this system and we have some cons of this system. Mm. <laughs> Where do we go from here? Exactly. And, go. You, you were saying something? No, I wasn't really saying anything. Uh, it's, it's just, if anything, it's not like, it's not like we have no ideas for alternative combat systems. Yeah. Uh, like, like we, we discussed one, one, idea that came up last time we were developing and we, we spend a fair amount of, we were trying to tread kind of cautiously as we developed this so we spend a fair amount of time like theorizing and you know just playing the playing the, the, the fighting a lot ourselves and whatnot and uh, one of the ideas that came up is that you could have a system where like um, aiming is technically automatic uh, like the idea that I was into where like you you could 
uh, like say you activate a punch, then you pursue the opponent for some specific set of, mm. you know, some specific amount of time. Yeah, exactly. And if you haven't hit him within that time frame, then you miss. So you can still miss, but if but you the, do catch up to him, so to speak. Yeah, exactly. The, yeah, the head to miss hit. mechanic is a bit less, it's certainly less latency sensitive at the very least. Yeah. So that's a thing, like, that's something we could do. Mm. Uh, the question is, like, do we want to, or are we happy the way things are? Yeah, exactly. Because, again, the, the system really does have a lot of things speaking for it. Yeah. Especially, I think, I, I, I actually don't even think you mentioned this, but I think one of the best things in, in, with it is that it integrates movement so closely to its core. Yeah, because that's that's one of the things that the previous systems have done kind of poorly, I think, exactly. is that we haven't taken movement enough into consideration. I mean, in, in every previous combat system, effectively, there have been two basic, two fundamental movement patterns, either you flee or you pursue, yeah. and that's pretty much it. Yeah. And so, so yeah, movement is very integrated, and that's that's arguably a good thing. And uh, yeah, again, it's it's fun, and it's very skill intensive. I would argue, yeah, exactly. like, I, or at least I would think. Exactly. Uh, I mean, I'm obviously better than you, for example. <laughs> oh, ooh, shots fired! Oof, oof, oof! <laughs> I wish I had a client open that could, that could demonstrate the opposite. But apparently, that is not the case right now. <laughs> <laughs> only uh, the only thing I see is, uh, is that we're both standing. <laughs> <laughs> True that. Uh, you got out, up after some some ado, but yeah. So so yeah, I would imagine that it's heavily skill based at least. Um, More so than previously, for sure. Yeah, definitely. And also, like in theorizing around like systems that are more in the vein of Haven's traditional combat systems, I think we've kind of come to see that they have certain problems because one of the things that we really want from the combat system is that we want it to be skill intensive mm -hmm. we, we do not want it to just be a stat check exactly. on the players exactly so the the alternate or kind of traditional route that we've taken toward making the, the combat system be skill based is to uh, try to have the fighting relation maintain a state that you need various to navigate states. various states that you need to navigate using moves and using like uh, attacks, trying to navigate the the, the state machine that is the, the fighting relation, mm -hmm. and then uh, to kind of use that to your advantage. So it's essentially a form of like chess or Magic the Gathering or like a stra exactly. strategic um, card game like that. Yeah, exactly. Magic um, the Gathering has always been a great inspiration. Yeah, sure. definitely uh, because it's a great game. So yes, uh, but. But I think one of the, the problems that we've started to see with that is that, that, like, maintaining a state like that is kind of problematic for several reasons. Like, A, you can't really uh, use use that state to affect the your own character positively. Exactly. So you can, for example, have, like, a lot of the moves that were in Legacy were kind of naive for, like, uh, flex to, like, gain... Um, gain you know, what was it like offense? Offense. You got you gained offense by using a maneuver called flex. Sounds fun on paper. Was mm -hmm. probably fun on paper, mm -hmm. but not fun when you can like go flex a bunny rabbit or whatever yeah, exactly. to bring up your own uh, offensive levels against another player. Mm -hmm. So it's very problematic to make, to to use that fighting relation local state to affect in your any own way that that affects the the own character positively. Yeah. So you can really only have negative effects from it, mm -hmm. um, and. Uh, and also, it's kind of like maintaining that fighting relation, you know, rests on a kind of a, a mutual commitment to maintaining it. Like, because if your opponent wants to break off, then, you know, his incentives for doing so are like, if, if the fighting, if, if the fighting state ever goes so much against you that, you know, you can ever like climb back into the fight, so to speak, then mm -hmm. you have strong incentives to flee. You just flee in the <coughs> Maybe that's true under any fighting yeah. regime. I'm or not really. sure. If it's, I mean, it's I, I wouldn't overstate all these problems. It's not like they can't be worked around at all. No. It's just that they do exist. And they, they're, they're always a bit of a problem. They are always a bit of a problem. For example, like trying to have... Uh, because we, we still maintain some, some amount of state in, in this new system as well with like, uh, you know, mm -hmm. initiative points and whatnot. Exactly. And... <coughs> um, yeah, trying trying to like, well, where was I going with that? What was it? What did I, say? I have no <laughs> idea. I completely brain farted that away. Oh, whatever. But yeah.
we maintain some state in the present fighting system, and that's um, working fairly well, but we always have the problem. This is where I was going. We always have the problem that, like, you can't share that state with, uh, like, for example, initiative points. They and, have to and, be and, local to the fighting. In an optimal state, in an optimal universe, we would like the we would like the initiative points to be owned by the character. Exactly, we would like them to be personal, but they they can never they really can't be. be that. They can't because can't in be that personal. case, you'll just whenever you are heading into a fight, you'll just go against the bunny, a bunny rabbit and charge up for the initiative. Yeah, or you will have your own old friend standing by whom yeah, exactly. you can flex against or whom you can use like, like these maneuvers yeah. against, and who who can like you know buff and feed you in the fight basically. Yeah. And <laughs> like, and, and I'm not saying that the maybe buffing and feeding your friends in a fight couldn't be an explicit mechanic because maybe it could, but but not in this way. But not, but not <laughs> but like, not like this. <laughs> but not like this. Um, so yeah. So, so basically, yeah. We, without overstating it, we feel that like maintaining too much state in the fighting relation seems not as you know naively easy as it maybe seemed when we did. Legacies, original yeah, combat exactly. systems, and such. Um, so, uh, so that's pretty much where we're at. And like, how our our present venue of development, like how we would uh, continue developing right now, is probably add some more attacks, add some more maneuvers, add some more moves, bring the old maneuvers back into play, like mm -hmm. bloodlust and you yeah. know, death or with some improvements so with, that they're with, less broken. Yeah. With I, I do think we have some ideas for that. We have we have good ideas to how how to make them not broken, and and then I guess we need to do another like UI pass. Type yeah, thing. exactly. Very much so. Uh, updating the 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 description text yeah, exactly. for the attacks. And it's just we don't really do that un, un, until you know we we're sure enough that we that we'll commit to this. Yeah. So so that would be, and then of course the big thing would be to give the animals uh, logic mm -hmm. for this because they 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 do nothing like this right now. They right. can't they can't handle this at all, uh, and they would need some manner of logic for that. We need to develop the AI system, take that to a new level, and yep. implement behaviors for all animals basically. Yep. Which is quite a hefty task and they, since there are quite a few animals. There are quite a few animals, and they yeah. And you know, ideally, we'd like them to be kind of unique in what they do and have unique as attacks unique and, as possible, at least. and unique attack patterns and movement patterns and blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. So, and and I'm not saying that we can't like kind of cheat on that task and, and do it, and make it easy for ourselves, and you know, reuse a lot of behaviors. But still, there, there's a fair bit of work there. Yeah, exactly. Um, so basically, you know, one of the raison de traits for this stream is to kind of figure out if we should be continuing or not. And, uh, I, I, like, I feel right now, like, unless someone, you know, really pulls the brakes and kind of stops us, I suppose we, we just keep on working. I don't, I don't know that we have... I, I, like, I, what are your thoughts? Where are we at? Like, yeah, I, I, no, that's the thing. I'm, I'm, I'm really not sure. The, uh, the thing is that the... Um, the objections that we have against systems are potentially um, grave enough you know, that it would be unwise to continue if they if they if they turn out in the worst possible way. Yeah, definitely. And then, and so you know, if you're going to poke holes in them, I'd appreciate if you do so now, please. <laughs> exactly. Like if you know it all, and if, if you're going to tell us in a month that this was a bad idea all along, then by all means do so now. then please spare us that month exactly like because because this thing this type of development takes a lot of time like the, you know we we have to spend a lot of time testing theorizing blah blah, blah and like our testing even if we do it a lot it's still going to be very cursory yeah cursory. exactly like we we've gotten some flack for this in, in the past but i don't think like <laughs> there there isn't really a whole lot we can do about it yeah i mean outside of like flying 20 players here and testing locally on yeah. land park or could something. be fun but yeah but <laughs> that's not really where we're at so yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so uh yeah and it takes time and we're not testing it exhaustively enough like the only real test can be to go live on the the real server that, yeah, exactly. that's the only like real test of, of mm -hmm. how the, the system is going to play out and uh yeah so, so those those are the kind of kind of considerations that we're wrestling with presently, and mm -hmm. like, yeah, I don't know. Like for myself, I think I probably work vote for for you know just keep on keeping on. Like I certainly I, like to. I mean, and again, it's fun. It's fun for us. Like for us. we're having fun with it. <laughs> yeah. So 
So, um, and I mean, I, I really like the fact that that <laughs> movement is so closely integrated with it. Zenta69 says, if you want feedback, just put it on the server out of nowhere and watch the forums. Yeah, post. exactly. I mean, this is exactly why we do things like that yeah. and what people complain about with you again. Yeah. <laughs> because it is the only way to get real feedback. Yeah, because no no one is going to feel invested or really care when it's just on a test server. Yeah, no no one really like that's truly always cares how it works out. Yeah, and and you know I understand that like it's why better we, than nothing sometimes. Yeah, but which is why we do have a test server now. But yeah. it's not it's not so full blown testing that it's yeah, and exhausted. The, the the test server is not going to like reveal all the real problems and yeah, um, only only live testing. In, in the real environment is going to accomplish that. So, um, yeah, one memer says, I, I K some moves like take aim are slower when you have, oh, right. He, he, he said, haha, you kind of made this bed for yourself by adding so many, many animals. That's true. But, you know, well, I mean, that's certainly true. But so then again, should we have few animals just to, uh, just so that we can remake the call system <laughs> once a year? Yeah. <laughs> because, because that's another thing. Like, we, we, like to 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 slay this beast yeah. Yeah. once and for all. Like we we would I like mean, to have a fighting system where we we're not constantly feeling that like we're we have to out. rewrite it again. Yeah, exactly. I mean I'm, I I don't doubt that we then won't be perfect. Of but, it, it but 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 perhaps it, it at least won't be so bad that it can't be improved over time, which has always been the problem thus far. Right. I mean the combat systems we've had have all have always felt like you know they. They can't really be taken to a reasonable state. That's at least been our feeling or our, our analysis. And uh, mm -hmm. you know, maybe I don't know. Maybe someone better than us could have, or maybe we're wrong about Perhaps, that. Perhaps the, the usual caveats apply, but but that has been our our, our yeah. We we've our always issue. felt that they've had like fundamental issues that we haven't you know, been able yeah. to work around. Exactly. With. And so, so that's the reason why, like, every year we do spend, like, three months rewriting the combat system. And we yeah. like to not do that in the future. Yeah, exactly. If possible. We, we would at least like to have a system where the fundamentals are sane enough that, like... We don't have to rewrite it from scratch again. No. Uh, 30 second advertisement says, we like to try the test server, but it's just so unrealistic, so feedback is hard. So much is missing from actual combat. I, yeah. I totally get that. Yeah, sure. It's not a real situation. You're not running with a real character. You're not actually afraid of losing anything. You you know you, you don't have to play with the entire like water drinking. Mechanic. You're always uh, and also you're always there in order to fight. You're not yeah. there, you know, because you suddenly got attacked by by a band of Russians. Yeah, exactly. Why would it be Russians? Why are you pointing out oh, Russians? I have no idea. This <laughs> racism, man. That, yeah, that's no. racist. <laughs> but <laughs> but uh, no, uh, yeah. So, so that's our predicament. And uh, other other things that I kind of like about this system is that I feel that it would integrate archery much better than any previous. Yeah, exactly, system. exactly. We wouldn't. I mean, it would it would make a lot of sense to just integrate archery into yeah, this, exactly. even perhaps with uh, a few different kinds of archery attacks. We could have different archery attacks. We could have moves for archery, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Because you know, essentially, we're already doing like ranged ish attacks with you know the present attacks. They are mm -hmm. kind of ranged attacks in a sense. Sort of. Uh, I mean, sense. they have range. Uh, like, they aim at least. Yeah. They have that in common with archery. Yeah, exactly, and which which would also imply that we could uh, potentially at least remove you know the ugly randomness in, in archery mm -hmm. uh, yeah. in terms of which like uh, nice. yeah, in terms of you know having you know the the aim yeah. angle be you know be the, randomized. Yeah, exactly. Um, which would be nice because arch having that randomness in archery never felt uh, stellar. Having randomness in any combat element isn't exactly a stellar no, implementation. <laughs> that, that's not what we want to be doing. Um, uh, so, uh, uh, for this combat system to work, the game needs to be pretty well optimized because lag would make new combat, especially PvP, even more impossible. Uh, Blech says, how will you guys work around the whole ping issue? Yeah, I mean, again, there isn't really much we can do about the ping, and that's the one of the core issues that we're trying to determine yeah. here, and whether it's okay at all. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, again, I, I would like to emphasize that it's not like ping doesn't matter in the current combat system or previous combat systems. Ping doesn't really matter. I, I, I don't think that, you know... I don't think that Australians, pl Australian players, have ever had the best of experiences playing Haven like at all. No. And especially not in high level PvP. No, I, I, I'd have to imagine that as well. Like playing with a four hundred millisecond ping and like combat 
that seems, seems you know it, it, it doesn't seem too funny yeah. that civilian yeah. activities yeah, that's slideshow territory <laughs> <laughs> well I mean that's a different thing it would necessarily by the way yes but no no but I mean it, no sure but you'd be doing a lot of rubber banding no, I don't really think rubber banding would be a thing but wouldn't it be no not really I mean latency doesn't mean reverting actions just means there's a delay between input and outputs. Sure. It wouldn't be fun at least. Yes. So, yeah. Uh, 30 second advertisement says you should figure out how it should be possible for fights to even happen. Should it be impossible to fight someone that doesn't want to? What about defending objectives like media rights were supposed to be for and risks for attacking those defenders? Well, because right now you can just run away forever from someone. I don't think that's that totally true in the, in, the, in the test system right now. Yeah, maybe, maybe not. Like, we tested it just now, and it was easier to run away than I think we thought it was. But It was probably easier than we thought it was, but that can easily, that, that can easily be a, a easily I think be adjusted. It, yeah, but nevertheless, it wasn't, it wasn't strictly possible to just run away unconditionally. Yeah, no. And I, I think it would be easy for us to make it so that the pursuer always catches up. Yeah, exactly. And I mean, the opposite would also be... Mm -hmm. Uh, it's finding like the Goldilocks territory where both players have a reasonable chance and where both players like feel that they can enjoy the, the exactly. chase. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm sure the I'm sure the, the, the <laughs> SKP enjoys <laughs> chase like <laughs> like nothing else. But <laughs> but nevertheless, where there's an element of skill involved in both on both sides. Yeah, least. definitely for sure. <laughs> so. <laughs> Uh, and and you know, in, given that the system integrates movement entirely, I, I think it's mm -hmm. also easy for us to add maneuvers that like give you a localized speed boost. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we've we already had a number of, of, yeah. of thoughts on the moves that would do that. Yeah, in various ways. Um, Adder thirteen forty two says, "I mentioned this before, but have you considered a system like the current new one, but it only takes inputs every few seconds or some other delay? Like if you and your opponent are standing next to each other, you could." Choose a direction to move in an attack and attack direction, and they would get the same. So you would basically make it turn based. That that's essentially a turn based <laughs> game. Yeah. So the combat would be more of a case of predicting where your opponent will move and how they will attack. I mean, a way like this would stop ping being an issue. Yes. Yeah, but but it will, I mean, it, it would also mean moving to a completely new game mode whenever you move into combat. Yeah, and and there are a lot of questions because originally when we first designed Haven many years ago, many now, many 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 moons ago. <laughs> Most of you were probably like, <laughs> hardly born then, or many of you. That's probably an exaggeration. That's an exaggeration. But you were you were young ones, so were we. But we did have the original design call for a turn-based fighting system. Mm -hmm. or it yes. was one of the ideas that we considered early on, at least. Yes. We went away from that, <laughs> and I think probably for good reason. Probably for good reason, because it breaks the entire like movement pattern and everything else. Exactly. Just change, I mean, again, it just it, it effectively means that you go into a completely separate game mode whenever you move into combat. Exactly. And you know, one of the problems with that is that you know people who are other players who are around you, but not technically in combat by the game's definition of being in combat, would still be able to move around you like nothing strange was going on exactly. and you know there is there is some potential for all abuse here yes so so it's, it's it becomes very much a question of when is con the combat mode engaged how is it like disengaged how how does it affect players who are not in combat yeah exactly mode? because they are again the original the original turn based assign here called for, for effectively establishing combat zones around combatants where other players who walked into them would also be drawn into that combat mode and stuff, and you know, it's 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 oh, everything just becomes weird because you know then you can start basically griefing people by establishing combat zones around them with stupid alts and yeah. putting alts outside people's bases to to establish a combat zone where like <laughs> to prevent them from farming effectively. Yeah, like, exactly. It's not going to be fun. It's not going to be. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be good. Like I, I think we can rule out turn based combat. I don't I don't think that's what we want to be doing. Yeah. Um so uh Wakfu is like this. The game is free movement, but an instance opens up with battle where it turns to tile based turn based combat and people can walk right through and not interfere. Okay, but can they join the combat? Like, how does that work? Like, can I just walk into the combat zone and, and 
appear anywhere on the battlefield, so to speak, when I join combat. Because having an having an a restricted instance like that field seems like a problem because <laughs> it seems to me like they, if one side is losing, they'll just pump the newly spawned alts into it just to <laughs> <laughs> just, <laughs> just bring combat to halt. <laughs> <laughs> just flood the instance with alts. Yeah. Uh, you can't join without permission, I think. Uh, I can't remember. I don't know. You should try walk through. To be honest, it's decent. All right. Well, fair enough. Maybe, maybe I'm not like. Maybe I shouldn't just rule out turn-based combat. Perhaps, but it's still. I mean, if, if I think it is desirable to avoid having basically two completely set and disparate game modes. Yeah. I, I think. If at all possible. If that's at all possible, I think it seems to me much more elegant to have a system which mm -hmm. is actually. You know, interconnected fundamentally with the rest of the exactly. Game. I mean, and for and for several reasons too. Like, I mean, it's like if, if you're just in 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 the midst of a siege or something, mm -hmm. manning your catapults or whatever, and then someone takes you out of that and brings you into combat, and since that doesn't seem like a terribly nice game mode. No. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. And uh, similar issues. And I mean, similarly, like you know. I feel it's generally nice that you're just running over the uh, the uh, normal terrain. Yeah, it's it's nice that there are natural obstacles and stuff, and you know that and you know the map and yeah, um, yeah and so on and so forth. It interacts better with like you know things like horses and you know boats and shit become natural part of the you know combat experience. Mm -hmm. It's not like. You don't enter into a you know completely disparate. We don't. Game. We don't effectively have to have to develop two different games in one. Yeah, exactly. Um, you know, any fighting system is always going to be like a localized little mini game of sorts. But Certainly, but still. So yeah, but, I mean, I suppose like what what's the biggest issue of the ones that we talked about? Is it the ping, or is it the the lag, or is it or the ping, or the combat uh, yeah, client modifications? You mean? Yeah. Arguably, the ping is, is the more like I mean the persistent issue there. Well, I mean it's, it's a good question. I mean the the uh, the client modifications are also yeah, will also be a pers persistent issue to be sure. I mean the real issue with them again would be whether the combat system can stay fun with them in place. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Uh, one memer says, and more radically, removing the combat interface entirely and just being able to use moves whenever you want would gel with this combat system better than the current. Yeah, attack. certainly, and that's yeah. pretty much. You know, I, I think we're going to do that. Yeah, so. we're we're pretty much going to do that. You, you, yeah, you would still toggle the uh, the uh, the combat interface on and off. I think yeah. because you know there's a lot of local information that isn't really relevant outside of combat and such things. So, so you 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 toggle the combat in interface, but but you could do that whenever. Yeah, and then you would be able to execute the attacks pretty much you yeah. know arbitrarily against yeah. you know which is another feature that I like because in like Zelda for example my classic example here is it's just fun walking around swinging your sword and shit. Yeah. And you know it would be fun if you could do that here as well. Yeah exactly. So so I think that's that's pretty much on the cards. We're gonna do that. So so this system has a lot of like nice features. It's it's the you know skill the skill intensitivity of it I think is the biggest thing. Mm -hmm. Like because if this were like if, if everyone were playing on a land situation, I wouldn't really be concerned about implementing this system. I think. Well, I mean, there is still the client modifications. Yeah, sure, but like the, I, you know, I, at least I think I don't know. It depends on on. It depends on how like egregious things it turns out people can do with it. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure my imagination can can really imagine the worst here. Uh, <laughs> No, indeed, my mine neither. It's just that again, I can imagine a situation where, where the combat system just becomes so broken and cheesy that it's just unfun. Yeah, sure. I can I, imagine that being a real situation. I can also imagine it not being it though. Yeah, I'm just really, honestly, unsure yeah. of how that would turn out. Yeah. Um, and and again, like our <laughs> our little inventory of of other online games reveals that cheating is very much a thing in online game like, mm -hmm. quote unquote cheating or client modifications at least is very much a thing and like some people are finding that but they're not doing it effectively and it's not mm -hmm. it's not ever it's not something that you can just you know get away from or, or mm -hmm. make the client close source or like 
Yeah, it's all battle eye. Or, yeah. yeah, certainly some people will argue for that. Yeah, that's because really that's an idea like we get sometimes. Like, mm-hmm. you know, we should ban custom clients. It's just dumb, a dumb argument because we can't. Exactly. Like, we're, we're not in ultimate control over your systems, and nor do we wish or care to be. So, um, um, Zenta69 says, it would be interesting to add some sort of object integration in Com- to, into Comma. Like, if you swing your B12 and hit a tree, it takes a chop hit. <coughs> or if you swing your sword from your boat and miss, you hit the boat for a damage to <coughs> We have talked about, like, integrating um, the environment more. Like having like uh, moves and stuff that you can only ah, use yeah, sure, locally. Sure. Uh, say like, uh, you know, I don't know some move that is only used on snow, snow terrain or something. Exactly. Or like you, know, you throw something. sand could be used on sand yeah, terrain, exactly. or like you could maybe like say punch a tree and then you know deflect the punch from the tree to an opponent or like you know ideas yeah. like that. I'm not sure that would, would that would how realistic that would be, <laughs> but it could be but, fun. Yeah, exactly. And it could be like strategically interesting. So so we have like some ideas like that, and I think those ideas all also work better in this system yeah, than, exactly. than in previous systems. Mm-hmm. Very much so. Um, and there's also the, the other issue, which I like about this system, relative to the previous system, is that you do not, with every move, have to have an active target. You don't have to pick your target from the enemy list for every yeah, move certainly, that, you, certainly. that you execute. Yeah. Because that has always been kind of cancer in, in fighting fights against multiple opponents. Mm-hmm. You know, deciding who, who to pursue and like exactly. you know a common situation for me just fighting bats is that like I have a bunch of bats standing on, around me fighting me I punch one of them that bat flees and I suddenly you know dart yeah, away exactly. pursuing that bat <laughs> you know mm-hmm. way off into nowhere and which was not ever what I wanted to do exactly so a lot of like dumb dumb situations like that um and and I, I, I so I, I enjoy the the target lessness the nature of, mm-hmm. of this system. Yes. Uh, that being said, if there is one uh, disadvantage to that, it is that in the current in the current target based system, there is always another player to look at in every combat action, so to speak, another player to compare values to, like for instance, it is impossible to modify cooldown by agility when you miss yeah. with an attack here. Yeah. For instance, so that's like a little bit. It's not the end of the world or anything, but it's something that I will probably miss a little bit. Yeah. So, yeah, basically that's where we are. We're at. Should we just take a vote right now in the chat <laughs> and see like where we that's doing? that's how this works, isn't it? Yeah, it's democratic. I mean, democratic that, that being said, it's not like it would be totally uninteresting just to see where 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 the, where the sentiment lies. Yeah. Let us let us know, guys. Like. Do you want us to keep working on this, or should we just scrap it and do something new, or should we stop working on combat entirely? Is combat fine as it is? What do you think? Well, let us know in the chat. Meanwhile, <coughs> let me trash you again here, sunny <laughs> lad. Restore your health. You, you're going to need it. Okay. Oof. Mm-hmm. Uh, me using a kick, Lofter using a haymaker, running out into dead nowhere. Me using go for the jugular, being hit by a left hook. First blood. No. Oh, oh. Lofter, Lofter's go jug being interrupted by my uh, deft kick there. Lofter doing throwing throws the punch as y'all. Oh nice. no! You little Lynch. <laughs> messing with uh, knocker's deep out. Oh no. One thing I have noted is that uh, under this system, uh, moves should probably not be queued until the cooldown. Uh, yeah, several leaves, several so people commented. Probably just error out. Yeah, several people oh. commented to that effect. Oh really? Yeah. Um, yeah. Another complaint that vigilance had was the combat takes way too long. I'm not sure what to think about that. Kind of wanted to take a little bit of time, right? No, no. I mean, my impression has been that high level of PvP has always taken a lot of time. Yeah. Like sure. hours and hours. Uh, Blech says, hey, you guys should come to the test server so we can do a group fight. Arguably, we should. Arguably, we should, I guess. Yeah, let's finish this first and then we can head over to the test server and do some test server testing. Boom. Oh, no. Oh, no. That, that didn't work. Oof. Little bastard. No! <laughs> <laughs> I 
Get away from me, you animal. Close <laughs> <Oof. laughs> call. Them, them stings, though. Ouch. Oh. Oh. I'm coming to get you, boy. <laughs> I I like kick myself. I think that's a useful yes, one. I noticed. <laughs> I have noticed that its uh, its area indicator isn't actually perfect. Uh, it just I bet you've noticed that. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. Yes, I do. Oh, is it gonna? Oh. No, it's not gonna. Not gonna land. Not gonna land, boy. Oh, oh no. Yes. <laughs> Ooh. Me kicking into nowhere. No. Oh. Oh. oh yes. No. Yes. <laughs> Trying to punch me there. Bless us. What the fuck, Rod? You're, you are not even using quick dodge or jump. No, no. I should probably have jump in the deck at the very least. I do. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Never get a chance to... You. Oh, oh, so close. So close. No. Oh, really? That missed? Of course it did. It was way off base, man. You. Oh. Come on, walk into it. Walk right on into it, boy. Oh. Yes. Oh. Yes, there we go. Boom. There it was. You had it, guys. I have 349 HP left. I'm barely I'm barely wounded, boys. I'm barely wounded. Barely wounded. Woof, woof. Yeah, but like I said, new competition sucks. <laughs> Clearly, we need to switch development orders to some other... <coughs> I get this every time. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> Adder1342 says, I like this new system much more than the old one. Ping will, all, will be an issue, but it already is, so I don't have any arguments against it. Yeah, exactly. That's kind of my argument as well, that Ping probably it already is an issue. The question is just how much worse it is made by the system. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, I'd be fine with either, to be honest, this 30-second advertisement. The current one isn't really that bad if you just remove some of the dumb things. Strider, Credos on animals, uh, animal fueling, coracles, inventory space being so limiting, boats are broken, some other shit probably is the dumbest shit at the moment. Yeah, boats are a thing, and that's uh, really only going to be... Uh, Solved with uh, object controlled object objects, objects. But, but I don't think object controlled objects are going to with you affect like robots in any way. For instance, are robots or robots say a problem in the current system? Uh, I'm not. I, I'm not sure. Like, why? Why are boats so dumb? Tell us why boats are dumb. I could. I see mean, I know that Gnar combat is dumb. Yeah, Gnar combat is super dumb. But I think it's, robot combat is probably somewhat dumb for similar reasons. Like all three people hitting from the boat. All three people have range from the boat. All three people sitting in the boat have range from it. Is that a problem? Yeah. Like 16 people hitting one guy at once is a problem. Oh, uh, you know, you're right. You mean that, right? I think I mean that, yeah. Uh, what about bows or maybe magic range attack? I don't like magic range attack, but bows are going to be implemented into this system. For yeah. show. For show, dog. Um, yeah, let's hop on the, uh, the test server. Cool. Do I even have a client for that open? No, I do not. So, yeah. Battle icing is really dumb, guys. Really, really <laughs> dumb. I thought I had the deck prepared on the test server. That's all. Small timer says, I'd love to see items being used in PvP. For example, if you have a fishing net in your inventory, you could try to throw it at someone. Maybe you could splash a bucket of tar on someone to give them a movement speed debuff. Splash me. 
<clears throat> movement speed debuffs are always kind of fun to speculate in, but I think they're probably going to be cancer if you can put them on someone else but yourself. Yeah. Because when when you're slowed against uh, against against a number of of, of enemies, then <laughs> and they can keep slowing you forever, then you're going to be slowed forever. Yep. And so, but but maybe you could you know solve that by having uh, some sort of immunity after you've had the buff for a while. I'm gonna have to go Perhaps. restore myself a little bit. So. What's the deal here? How do you guys usually play this? Do you just set your strength and agility and shit to these obnoxious values like ten thousand, or how do you, how do you, how do y'all usually how do y'all usually play this? Uh, ideas for changes to the to the fighting system to make it more reasonable could be a good idea, by the way. So if you have any, please let us know. Gorge, uh, boom. Can I just bring along endless amounts of this and use it to restore myself in fights? Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but don't you effectively restore it instantly whenever you change your values? Yeah. Do I now? You perhaps bet on it, but I do it. Well, that, that wouldn't help me because I'm... What's it? Oh, yeah, I'm just going to have to put... Compose a little fighting deck, I suppose. Uh, I already have somewhat of a fighting deck. Let's see, this again. see what we need. We definitely want jump in here. We already have jump. I uh, don't. I'd like a. Why am I not a god here? Why am I not a G O D? I'm gonna use a battle axe of the twelfth day. Thank you. Leather boots, y'all. Get some chain mail going. I'll soon be ready, guys. Just gonna pick up all the loot first. This is Valhalla, which is presently site of our test server. So maybe cutthroat is better. Quality 62, quality 43. I could probably we can set. Can we set quality on shit? We can't, right? Yes, yes, we can. How? How? how you just right click it. Right. So, what's the max quality? Ten thousand, probably. Okay. That seems a little bit dumb. Seems a little excessive, doesn't it? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Should never have that quality on the real server, right? right? Who knows? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Sorry, we're only seeing your login. Oh, sorry, sorry, we saw the wrong, saw the wrong fine. Why is that? We, I turn that down, and then, whoop, 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 Why is that damn dumb thing not capturing the right window? Yes, isn't it? No, still capturing the wrong window. That's so that's weird. That is weird. But uh, just minimize all the other clients then, I guess. But, um, or perhaps even who mm, shut them down. That would be crazy talk. Crazy talk, sir. Then what is it going to show? Now, now we're getting places. Here we go. Not sure. Are you guys seeing the real thing now? Let's hope you are. Let's hope you are. 10,000. Damn. Damn. I'm going to do so much damage. Is Let's everyone just playing in max stats? I assume. Hence, I think max stats should probably be somewhat lower to be, make it a little less retarded. Okay, so combat deck. Uh, we definitely want go jug, and we want. We can probably leave out haymaker. I didn't use that one too much. We want cleave for sure, and definitely opportunity knocks. And we can probably skip quick dodge and do jump instead. And 
these are probably the ones I use most often. And then we want to probably skimp a little bit on the punch. And we can use a North of Teeth out probably. Not sure. We can use cleave. I want to use cleave. Or can you not? You know, I should probably have a water skin as well. That's probably a good idea. And we'll bring that one up. Not sure it matters. Do 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 the number of attacks matter in your deck? Uh, they somewhat. do. They some do, some don't. I don't actually remember all the effects right now. Some are just inherited from the current system. Others are actually somewhat uh, intended. Yes. Do D helm upgrading upgrading you. Right on. All right, right, I'm ready. Well, where y'all at? Where y'all at, boy? Where's everyone at? Where you at? Here. All right, so there's, there's someone. Also, apparently, you do not restore by just uh, changing your values, at least. Ooh. Deftly using quick, quick dodge here. P perhaps quick dodge is the, the broken maneuver that... Oh, no, he actually missed with quick dodge. So, so not so broken, then. Not so broken, then. Ooh, no, I took the punch. That was clumsy of me. Oh, God damn it. <clears throat> Oops, I did not mean to do that. Oops, sorry. <laughs> oh, damn. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> sorry, not sorry, indeed. Oh. Oof. God damn it, I keep activating the wrong attack. I'm used to having. Okay, so punches or jump rather is a little faster than it probably should be. Mm, really? Yeah, that's my experience right now. But I am kind of getting him as well. So I'm not sure. Ah! Come back here, you little Oh, whoa, what am I doing? Here? <laughs> Got clean big time, dog. Where are you all at, though? Uh, I don't know about, about you, but I'm over here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know. How do you find your way on the comet test server? Maybe that's. I guess the map. Sure. Oof, there we go, I'm down. He cleaved me, the bastard. Mm -hmm. uh, uh. <laughs> I got lucky. I, I was owning you up until that point. Owning you, owning you left, right, and center. Uh, uh. <laughs> hey, bring up, bring up your mouth. Uh, 
Jolex H&H says, I've yet to test this because I'm kind of, I'm, I'm a busy boy, but it looks kind of fun. Yeah, it is kind of fun. One would hope so. I mean, I will say also that I, I, I can't help but wonder if some of the latency issues that some people have have uh, complained about mm -hmm. are more about the client input lag than about the uh, network latency, maybe. I don't think that you should uh, stay down for like a whole full minute on the combat tester, so I'm going to make a note to change that. Don't yeah, there's more, there's more special there's rules for the combat tester, that's, uh, that's, I have no complaints about that. Or in Valhalla or other. But we can take that discussion some other time. We certainly can. And then we should. Okay, so I'm just gonna gorge that and I'm back in business. Alright, let's do this. Come on, boys, come on. Ah, oh, there you are. Oh, there we go. I drew first blood. I freaking drew first blood. Is this a one versus all or oh no? Oh, oh. I imagine I'd actually I'd actually play on your side for once. Oof. Crazy. <laughs> Not sure how that's gonna work. Devs, devs versus <laughs> versus dorks. <laughs> oh. But perhaps that can be an interesting way to try out the um, um to the friend of party thing. Oh really? Uh, Are we already at the end uh, at the end of the map? Oh, thank you. Nope. I'm just bad. Oh, that was you. <laughs> <laughs> Funny how that goes, isn't it? Yep. Oh, you little bastard. Oh, kick two of them. Kick two of them. Both of them. Took it to the teeth. Ah, uh, boom. This is a lot of fun and with several people playing, actually. Yeah, you could actually argue that it doesn't suck. Thank you. I'm coming to get you, boy. Okay, I'm not coming to get you. You stop me. <laughs> you stop me, you bastard. You wily bastard. Oh, so close. Here we go. Boom. Oh, what am I doing? Jeez, man. Oof. No. <laughs> no. Oof. Sorry about that. <laughs> Some friendly fire. I guess this is a good opportunity to evaluate how we feel about friendly fire. Maybe a bad idea, I'm not sure. Oh, he tried to chop me, the little faggity fag. Sorry, shouldn't use that word on Twitch, bro. <laughs> 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 you can go for the jug. Nice teamwork. Talk about co coordinating with your buddies. <laughs> I got cleaved out of the fight, man. <laughs> You're on your own, bro. <laughs> Come on, the fight continues. Come on, take him down. Kill him. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't I click? Oh, I still. Oh my God, I'm still going. Move up towards me, guys. Be, be around me. I can't see shit, man. Oh yes, you got one. Uh, no. Well, I man, I did manage to cleave him, but he didn't go down. So that's awesome. Now, how now? Oh really? Oh, that's fast. What is this? <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, oh darn really? it. Come on, wake up. There you go. Thank you. Maybe some landmarks or something could be a good, good idea. Honestly. Where are you guys at? Here. Right on. 
come down. I'm going to help you to the ah. rescue. Map. Further down, huh? Ouch. No, wrong attack. Oh, are <laughs> you getting pooned? <laughs> I managed to press the wrong button at least. Ah, oh, haha, I managed to rip part of <laughs> <laughs> Where are they? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? <clears throat> oh, oh. Ouch. Oh, no. Oh, no. I have been up knocked. <laughs> That's not good. Can quickly be the end of you. Indeed, can, and then that was the end of me. Okay, map. Show in so further west. It's northwest. Damn! Damn, boy! What did he say there? Yeah, I, I know my map window was. We need a way to dodge, op knock, or lower it, or some sort of nerf on it. I was stacking IP, okay, cleave and op knock. I still OP your video. Right on. Right on. Let's wait for Loftar to wake up and we can do a proper one. Uh, I, I suggest we have. Had, oh, yeah, we can wait for Loftar to wake up, I guess. So, uh, yeah. I thought it was kind of fun and, you know. Yeah, I, 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 I thought it was fun too. And, uh, I mean, uh, considering we lost, I guess latency is not the end of, <laughs> the, end of <laughs> the alpha and the omega of the system, at least. Uh, Archer XD says, I really enjoyed this combat. Yeah, I mean, it is, it, it's arguably probably more fun than the present system, at least. So. Yeah, I mean, I would like to think that it is more, more fun than the present system under all circumstances. All right, boys, are we ready? I thought we were going to head back to the Origins. Let's... Let's head head back north. Come get us, boys. You can't you can't can't do that again. You're not gonna win again. <laughs> not possible. Impossible, I think. Tell you. Mortal Kombat. <laughs> <clears throat> so we're gonna head up further north. So if anyone else wants to join, feel free to. Uh, Oh, here's a Russian. Good, good, That being said, it's kind of embarrassing not to know the Creole alphabet. Yeah, I'm not. I, I suck. The problem lies with me. <laughs> <coughs> Oops. That Oops, means you not mean to, me, did not mean to do that. All right. So that's close enough for me. Boom. <laughs> Boom goes the dynamite. Oop. Okay, let's uh, let's try to target one of them. Let's, let's focus okay. on like Archer Boy XD. Okay, Archer Boy XD, you say? Take him down. <laughs> I should probably, <laughs> probably not be kicking him. <laughs> oh, sorry, that was not Archer Boy XD. No, that was was definitely not Archer Boy. So, God damn it. <laughs> what is the slide? Oh, right. I hit you. Oh, that's quick. Oh, right. Oh, oh no. I've been off knocked. That's not good. It is not. Boom. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Ouch! Ooh. <laughs> Wait, you survived. I did indeed. Not with a whole lot of health, though. Ooh, no! <laughs> 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 that worked out fine. <laughs> your Ben. Uh, hi, hi, Bill. Whatever you know. Oh, that cool down, though. You can't have a lot left, right? No idea. Oof. Oh, no, Ooh. so close. Oh, I've been off mark. Oh, oh. Oh, God damn it. Oh, 
Yeah, not sure what to think about friendly fire. It's certainly something. It's certainly something. I mean, I don't necessarily mind that you have to look oh. out. That you have to look out for at least. No. Oh no! <laughs> Speaking of which, and then you should probably coordinate that a little bit better. Hmm? Why? Why is that? Oh damn! We 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 both uh, went for each other's jugulars and. He he won. So that should argue, arguably be you done something about it. Wasn't won yet. <laughs> I'm down, man down, man down. <laughs> um No <clears throat> Adder thirteen forty two says the lag isn't nearly as bad as I expected, and yes the input delay is the worst part in my opinion. Yeah, I could imagine that being the case. Oh, now, now. <laughs> How you doing there, boy? <coughs> well, I, I am, I am one against three, so I, by some epic, I think, I think, I, I think I'm doing surprisingly well. Still standing, at least. Yes. <laughs> no, 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 no. <clears throat> Come on, wake up for F's sake. Here we go. Why can I move? Oh, oh you bastard. Leave, leave my leave my lobster alone. <laughs> oh, how much how much can you take? <laughs> Managed to punch lobster. <laughs> what? No, I've been off knocked. And I'm going for Lofter's juggler. <laughs> no, I'm going for Archer Boy X. Ouch! And please. And that's it. Well, since I'm down anyway, I need more tea. How about you? Fill me up, Scotty. <coughs> Whoops. Sorry about that. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry about that, boy. No, no. No, no. You can't go get more tea in the middle of a fight, apparently. No, how is that timing? How is that timing? There's certainly a lot going on. I'll be chopping the shit out of these guys. I know. Ouch. Or they'll be chopping the shit out of me. Man. If you need to be somewhat clear on who your target actually is, maybe. Maybe I <laughs> kind of suck a little bit. Ooh, I've been off knocked. Oof. I can't wait. Can't you eat when you have combat relations? Nope. Oh, I see. Well, that's a problem because I got combat relations and I didn't have high uh, up. <laughs> that's not good. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> you won't be very useful in this fight. <laughs> and then. No. No. Oh, 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 oh. I have no idea who I'm, whom oh, I'm even fighting with. This one. There we go. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I'm after Archer Boy, of course. Yes, I hear. Oh, oh, oh so, so close. close. Why me? <laughs> Had to be someone, man. <laughs> Nothing personal. Oh, no, I'm out. Oh, he quick punched my go jug. Damn, 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 damn huh? Knocked me out of the fight. Yeah, considering I didn't have to have, have time to heal. Oh. Yeah, well, I, I don't know. Is that uh, is that uh, time for some conclusions? Uh, yeah. If you yeah. haven't, man, I'm all ears. Well, well, I, don't know. I mean, I, I I think it was pretty fun. It was definitely fun. And uh, yeah, I mean, a fight with many opponents is a effing mess. But that's it's arguably uh, what a fight with many opponents should be. So. Yes, indeed, and it's uh, it's uh, quite it's a quite different thing from testing one on one. Yeah, for sure, <laughs> it is very different. <laughs> very different indeed. Uh, not sure what to think about friend, friendly fire. Not sure it's good, but also not sure it's bad either, though. Yeah, no. I uh, I mean, it makes the fight a bit of a mess for sure, but I'm not sure that's not as it should be. Yeah. Uh, the friendly fire sucks, says one of them. Please remove end party. 
<laughs> the cleave only affecting off knocks is actually kind of cool. Maybe because no friendly fire, though. It's really OP since openings are completely irrelevant. Uh, yeah. Since openings are irrelevant? Uh, yeah, I mean, the, the normal yeah, openings sure. is relevant. Sure enough. So, sure enough. Oh, fuck. I perhaps the, uh, the interest of the first part. Perhaps the amount of, of, uh, of corners. Peace me, man. Peace me, bro. Peace me, bro. Peace me, I haven't killed, man. Peace, peace me. Peace, peace bro. Bro, 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 bro. Perhaps the amount of, of corners opened by Opnock should be uh, modified by the uh, by the normal opening. Arguably, maybe. Please. Break, break off combat with this guy. Arguably. One memer says, let us set kin colors to not get damaged by our attack. Also, cam is bad. You can set cam um, bad by typing colon. But combat. honestly, I, I, I don't understand why people feel that camera is better in PvP. I mean, isn't a top-down view always better so that you see equally around yourself? Apparently, people are not... Feeling that sentiment. I, 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 I honestly don't understand why though. I do first blood. But I mean, rather than continuing fighting now, shouldn't we try to reach some kind of conclusion whether we should continue on this uh, combat system or not? Feel free to argue for one then. <laughs> like, uh, no, but what are you imagining? Like, what, what should we leave? No, well, I'm not sure, honestly. The, uh, I'm not sure we have uh, resolved our basic uh, objections by uh, by doing this. No, uh, but I don't know if I had like per good hopes that we would get a straight answer as to whether we should. Well, continue. sure, but we could perhaps uh, I don't know we could perhaps try to get some kind of answer. I don't know. I think like we've only gotten positive feedback. I think that's some sort of feedback. Like no one has True really enough. no one has really said anything too negative against us. Like every, everyone realizes what the issues are, but like. I live in America and ping doesn't seem that bad, I guess. Uh, someone suggested to increase the range on Sting. The range is de dependent on your weapon, so you, you could use a better weapon. Exactly. So use a spear, for example, and you'll have a lot better range. Exactly. So, really, yeah. Yeah, yeah really. <laughs> Boom. Uh, so, I, I don't know. I think, you know, still sucks to be honest. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. I found it was pretty useful against Loftar when I tried with. Uh, that was probably dumb. What was useful? What was you? What was worthless? Um, the, 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 sting. Uh, no, yeah, sting with uh, his spear. Ooh, so I don't know. I, I, well, I mean, such minor adjustments are at least just minor adjustments. We can keep doing them forever. Yeah, but I mean, I, I find it interesting that you know he's talking in terms of the yeah, sure. system and suggesting improvements to it rather than you know being sure. critical of the fundamental premise. Sure. Okay. I guess that's a, <laughs> I guess that's arguably a good thing. Oh. Ouch. Oh, now he tried to. I, I don't have the opportunity not to answer. He can clean me all day if I like it. <laughs> oh. Damn, man. it's everyone on Europe now, apparently. <laughs> well, <laughs> no more than fair, but... <laughs> Ow. Ow. Ooh, nice. <laughs> Deftly cost them to run into each other. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of a fun mechanic, isn't it? Honestly. Uh, arguably someone. Arguably someone. Making them bumble against each other. Anyway. Yeah. I definitely, I'm totally up for another area attack of some sort. It's really fun. Oof. Fun giving it to these bad boys. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's not like we don't have good ideas for new area attacks, I think. Yar, yar. <laughs> Ooh. I have no idea what's going on here. No, no. I should probably not shift aim that. Ouch. Not good, not good, not good, not good. <laughs> okay. uh, I want to chop someone before I before I'm knocked out. And I mean to be sure, the uh, like the hit zones and stuff would be uh, would really be stuff where different where different weapon classes can do different things. Yeah. What are you thinking? Well, I mean, like, you know, full circle with 
Bulbasaur or something. Full Circle is a traditional attack name, right? Yep, it is. And, you know, perhaps some kind of... Uh, uh, what uh, Fierce De Deity asked, what do the green bars represent currently? Uh, intensity yeah. or stamina? It, it represents the opening, like how much uh, how much of an opening they have against them. Whoa. No. I don't know. Maybe. Not sure about the, the uh, cooldown on jump. Yeah, I, there may be a case to be made. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. Point being, I'm oh. not sure it's it's too long or too short or whatever. But I mean, it is useful, but you do take a little bit of a risk using it. Yeah. What do you guys? How do you guys feel about the jump cooldown? Should it be changed? Uh, <laughs> there, you did not make run with each other. <laughs> I got tag teamed. <laughs> I got tag teamed, yo. I have no idea who I'm targeting with that. <laughs> Jump is fine. In my opinion, we need a move to lower off knock opening. Uh, yeah, I, I actually consider that jump should mm, decrease all openings. So, oof! Yasek down, boys! <laughs> oh, I man. chopped him out of the game. Nice. Yeah, I don't know how you, how you guys feel about that. Maybe jump should lower all openings. I mean, I don't feel that uh, that we should have a specific oh, to one to uh, to, uh, to decrease the to decrease the corner and opening. That that would just be going back to the uh, to the previous system. Arguably, yeah, that would be. It's, a good it's, fix I, it's either one for all or no move at all to decrease it. I think. I don't know if it needs to be that black and white. I mean, I think there could be a case that like some openings could be... Uh, but I don't think we should multiply openings beyond all, you know, imagining. I think there should be like one or two or maybe three. Mm -hmm. So I don't think there should be too, much, too many. Uh, the point being, at least, that they shouldn't be symmetric as they previously were. No, they shouldn't. That's probably true. But yeah, no, I'm like, I, I don't know. I don't know that anyone is like arguing super convincing, convincingly or even like actively against the system. I did. Like, well, that's a good sign. Uh, let's see. Uh, how are you supposed to lower in a game? Press, no. pre press go for the jugular to win. <laughs> not sure that's true. <laughs> not sure that's true at all, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> that is not the that is not the impression I got from these my experience. experience. <laughs> <laughs> not <in> my experience. <laughs> well, yeah, tar targeting is still kind of cancer in a, in a fight against many opponents. You mean like for 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 go for, for go jug? Yeah, exactly. You really need to kind of keep track on who your target is, but maybe that's mm -hmm. me being a bad player. Well, I mean, I'm not sure what the alternative would be. No, I mean, it needs to be the attack certainly needs to be targeted. So. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but yeah, I don't know. I don't. I'm not hearing like strong voices against the system. At least. Yeah, me neither. And we had fun here. I felt mm -hmm. so. Oh, what, what, was I just immediately knocked out again? I don't use the uh, jug. In my opinion, it sucks. It says right. actually boring. Yeah. Not everyone seems to agree, and I guess that's a good thing. Yeah. What jug is insane? Okay, that, that's good that they have more <laughs> different, widely different opinions. Uh, <laughs> If Opnock Cleave wasn't so broken. Why do you feel that Opnock Cleave is broken? Because you can't lower the Opnock? Opnock Cleave is the strap boys. Boys is the strap boys? Well, I, I can kind of see that being... being yeah, it's case, probably true. Because it does 30 and damage. damage. Yeah, no, that's probably true. Like, it's probably the strap, but you, it's fairly easy to land. I'm not sure. Can't counter Opnock. Sure. So, if jump reduced Opnock as well, that would be a good change, right? Everyone agrees that that would be a good change. Small timer says, uh, "Keep working on it. The idea is great, and really, uh, see, Gorge, when was the last time uh, you had this much fun doing PvP? Sure, there there are a few issues, but I'd like to see you guys continue working on this because I see potential. Adapt and master cowboys." 
Yeah. I mean, to be sure, it still needs work. <laughs> and, oh, and yeah, a lot of it. For sure, for sure. <laughs> we are not. We are not intending to push it in this state. No, no, certainly not. But I mean, yeah. how do you guys feel about kick? Anyone using kick a lot? Now it's it's off knock cleave all day every day, right? <laughs> That's so. Kick is good. Okay, kick is good. The lower cooldown made it better. I I tend to agree with that. Yes. That Especially once we added the uh, the uh, head zone <laughs> effect, that was quite obvious. Yeah. <laughs> quite obviously the case. Hmm. Oh no! I'm being I'm being I'm being majuggy majuggy majuggy. <laughs> Ooh, oh my god. Okay, we need to be... There we go. Whoop. <laughs> missed me, missed me. Now you gotta kiss me. But I mean, for sure, doing uh, doing attacks to Cal Gojax is uh, really is... Timing them correctly really is one of those things that, they, that, the, that the script could be... Useful for him. Indeed. Yeah. Among very many other things. And, uh, oh, I got Yasik again. Yasik down, boys. Oh, damn. <laughs> damn, I'm being, I, I got gotten. I'm being gotten myself. And I'm probably not jumping nearly enough. Really? Because everyone else is opening the like low, and mine are not. And oh. Hold it. Oh, no. oh damn! Took took one, took one good. Could perhaps um, I'm wondering uh, now now that I've now that I've tried to group fight whether you know shift shift auto aiming should uh, you know auto aim for like the. The player closest to the mouse cursor rather than yeah, the player. Arguably, maybe. Uh, Not sure about that though. No. But um, but but I wouldn't. I would at least like to be able to like hit the closest player or, or whatever because because when I'm go jogging, when I'm trying to prevent this guy from go jogging, mm -hmm. I want to be able to hit him. Not. Mm -hmm. ooh, not everyone else. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> no time for jumping. I mean, to be sure, isn't friendly fire a nice, a nice, uh, yeah, yeah, handicap yeah, for, yeah, yeah. against larger groups. Yeah, especially when you're pursuing with Gojar, you kind of have to time and sequence it right mm -hmm. in order to not like bumble into each other. I kind of like that. Mm -hmm. I can't find. Kick good for count. Ooh. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I never had a chance. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I don't know. I thought this was fun. Like we. Yeah, certainly. I, I'm, I thought I'm, group group fight was fun. Yeah, certainly, and honestly, I didn't really expect anything else. The only issue, the only, uh, the only question I have is that uh, whether it alleviated the uh, the doubts that we the doubts we had. A little bit, maybe. I don't know. I felt. Obviously, there are people who don't complain about the latency. Yeah, so that's like a good thing. There were, there was, and I mean, consider that we are actually on the same LAN as the test server. Yeah. I mean, it didn't seem completely in our super much favor <laughs> because we got, we got raped. <laughs> good. Yeah. Uh, but it was interesting doing a group fight actually. So we should, we should probably do that again. Like it was interesting seeing the. Uh, I think jump is more important here than it is when we're fighting yeah, each other. One yeah, I agree. One. I agree. Uh, it's probably the reason. Especially, I don't think that especially you know, if if you're that one player who's not being actively pursued at the moment, then yeah. jump is definitely very useful. <laughs> exactly, because I, I notice that their openings are significantly lower than mine. Mm -hmm. For example, also considering whether you should always see the the overlay on a fighting player in terms of their openings and shit. Because like I, I'd like to be able to observe that fight. Yeah, I can see why you would like that, but that would be a rather major change. Well, yeah. Zenta sixty nine says I see a lot of potential here. There seems to be media room for new weapons and combat maneuvers too. A lot of room to expand and explore. Yeah, yeah, and that's that's our 
<coughs> that is one of the positives about this estimate, I think. Yeah, and I think... Uh, yeah, go, at, go at it one more time. For science. Poor Yossick, still down. <laughs> Can't still be down from when I downed him, though. I want to declare war on everyone. Yeah, that's the thing. That's the thing I've noticed. Because right now it's kind of dumb that I have to like click mm. each and every one of yeah. them to just mm. shake hands with them and, and declare war. Exactly. That is a good question what the alternative would be, perhaps, but... Uh... Auto-aggro everyone? <laughs> <laughs> Always. <laughs> Oh, oh, I got an IP against that guy. I got an IP against that guy. I punched him good. I punched him good, bro. No. Nope. <laughs> then he got punched good. <clears throat> Not even close, man. Not even close. That ain't close, dog. <laughs> Ew, oh. <laughs> Oh! No! It's so far away. Oh. Yeah, because it, it really sucks having to, you know, switch targets to him in order to counter his goal jug there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Definitely. And again, it's not like you can't man aim manual, manually. No. And there, I liked friendly fire there. He he just asked Rape the the his buddy. Okay. Damn. Well, I mean, of course, it's easy to like friendly fire when you when you have no friends. <laughs> <laughs> Story of my life. Let's <laughs> How is that not ahead? How is that not ahead? I ask you. That was it. Now we just need to. No, oh, what am I doing? <laughs> oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? We'll just both jump away all the problems. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Ooh. There we go. There we go. Now we just gotta gotta land the cleave. <laughs> yeah, with him running away though. Yeah, that's true. Ooh, wait. That does not look like a nice way to land the cleave. Well, that does <laughs> not look like. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Well, I hate it. <laughs> Kind of sucks that the uh, attack hotkey is presently overriding the mm -hmm. the uh, thing. Unless someone else landed a cable on him, at least. <laughs> I'm happy about that. Set it, set it up for him. Set it up for my boy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, auto aggro all partied members of selected target. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> kind of makes it a liability to be in a party. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should probably not be able to determine party status of another player, right? It's not. It seems like a bad idea to give incentives not to form a party. No. Oh, no, 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 no. It can be kind of hard when you're against a bunch of people oh. go jogging you. Arguably, like maybe having your go jog interrupted should be a bigger penalty. Perhaps. Because like when 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 all of them are go jogging me, I don't really get much of a payoff for for like interrupting one of them with uh, a left hook. 
Well, I mean, perhaps, perhaps not, though. I mean, it's not like this low debuff doesn't matter at all. No, but, but it doesn't matter when they're all against me, when I'm being pursued. I'm not sure. Shouldn't I, like, get a reward? What do you think, chat? Shouldn't I get, a, like, a reward for, for interrupting one of them? In terms of, like, actually dealing significant damage to them? Uh, <clears throat> daggers with smaller, wider range circles, faster attacks, fake out attack area indicators. Shields blocking only directionally. Would really love to see it. the environmental integration too. Kicking up sand and dust, throwing and swing, swinging weapons. Now, I could even see things like fire or poison and poisons and splash-like area of effect weapons. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I've even considered if like you know the uh, kind of uh, uh, friendly area buffs of uh, some games like Diablo Three could be fun. Yeah, uh, definitely. That could be like a maneuver, like where you buff mm -hmm. all the people in your party or, or yeah, exactly. within a range or whatever. Yep. That would be more fun than the present way of buffing your friend. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I wonder, I wonder, if like, would grenades be fun? Like handcrafted items that you actually have to bring into fight? I mean, possibly. It's, it's a good question, I guess. Uh, it's there, it's there, reminiscent there is of potion swelling from Diablo. Exactly, I was just going to say. <laughs> it's, it's um, yeah. It's kind of dumb when the game devolves to who brought the most hand grenades to, to, to the fight. Yeah, because because I always felt that the uh, Diablo... I, I haven't actually played Diablo 3, but I always felt that was the main mechanic of Diablo 2. Like, yeah. <laughs> How many bottles can you bring? Yeah. No, that was definitely the mechanic, the main determining mechanic of success in, in Diablo 2. Mm -hmm. I have not played number 3 either. So, but... But I'm thinking, like, some... Um, there, there's at least some part of me who kind of thinks that some matter of, like, more direct item equipment integration could be fun. Yeah, I would like to think so, too. I I, I, <laughs> I mean, I'm really... <laughs> I'm really split, I guess, because on the one hand, it, it, it sounds fun. On the other hand, we already have the issue where, you know, you have to bring an inventory full of water mm -hmm. every time you go fight, and that's kind of retarded. It is. <clears throat> so, yeah, I really don't know about that. Uh, Leprechaun Spot says you should take a look at Albion Online. Didn't we try to do that once? It has a pretty similar fighting system and uh, may be useful for you guys. The system is really simple but surprisingly deep. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. I've uh, almost actually only uh, heard bad things about Albion, so I didn't uh, think it was worth looking at. Uh, fix the red outline for kick. It's bigger than what it shows, says Archer Boy XD. I think it's that it, it you only need to touch it with no, a small No, it's actually not just that. It's also that um, I mean the uh, the uh, the range of the attack is specified as a number, and then the uh, the uh, the uh, the radius of that circle shows that range. But in in it's it's not just that you have to fit your own bounding box inside that zone, but it's also that the actual range is the the the. the the smallest distance between the bounding boxes, so in fact it should be like a small rectangle with large rounded corners. Well, um, <laughs> small timer says, "Great stream, guys. I haven't played Age of in more than a year, but I'm a big fan, and I'll continue to follow the development. Me and my friends will come back eventually. Until next time, stay best and safe travels, Bjorn and Frederick. And as always, greetings from Jokmok. It's snowing outside of me. <laughs> <clears throat> greetings, man. Wow, winter, winter already, huh? It's, but it is the end of October, so." It's well, not, it's perhaps not uh, that, too surprising. Yeah, uh, that, that's what I would expect from Yorkmok. Take care, Yorkmok friend. Peace, and pro love, and prosper. Um, <clears throat> uh, speaking of Diablo 2, imagine a barbarian leap over cliff. Yeah, that could be fun. Perhaps. Or maybe, at least. So, what, what's the standard way of restoring? Because I think you should automatically restore when you wake up. Well, perhaps, but then you can't ask what would happen if you don't when you don't restore. Then I should just have a button to restore. Whoa, 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 whoa! What's going on there, boy? Exposing your whole desktop. Uh, there's nothing, nothing there to see. I don't think. Nothing there to see, I don't think. Oh, but I did manage to turn the chat down. Oh, no. There we go. We're back. Uh, let's see. 
Yeah, so I don't know. Conclusion: Most people seem to to feel have what what have you heard about Albion online? No, I I just mainly heard bad things about it. What kind of bad things? I honestly don't remember. It's not like I've been playing paying close attention to. It. No. Shadow ninety one XO says, "Sup, gods of Hidden Heart. Sup, man. <clears throat> testing some fighting. Testing some final. The test server. We had fun. We did a couple of group fights with some." Gentlemen who were kind enough to help us out, and uh, yeah, I'd say it was fun. It was pretty successful. The Americans didn't seem to have too bad of an experience with the the, the lag, at least. At least no, at least no one um, the, that no one expressed concerns about. Yeah. I mean, they they were certainly able to hand it to us, as it were. Mm -hmm. So perhaps no great surprise than when they are six against you, but. <laughs> 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 Excuses. <laughs> no. and, and, and I, yeah, and the and time I, you turn off the cancerous camera, though, it probably is. Right? It. Probably is turn the time that I turn off the cancerous camera. Yeah, so maybe keep working on it. Are you still? In, are, are you still? Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm. I just. Uh, just not sure. I mean, you know, it's great that we're getting positive feedback. Yeah. I, again, I don't think that has ever happened on a previous combat system. What more do we need? I don't know. I, again, like, no one expressed negative comments. Like, no one was like, this is a bad system. Mm -hmm. uh, Leprechaun spot. But then again, Vigilance isn't in the chat. No, but <laughs> he'll have to forever hold his peace then, because he wasn't in the chat Indeed. when it mattered. When it mattered, yo. Oh, that's not gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, but you're not gonna do it again. No. Ah, 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 ah. Oops, oh. accidentally marking a lot of text. Need to do that. Yeah, these 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 guys are a lot more cautious than they are when we're fighting. Mm -hmm. You can jump a lot more. Probably for good reason. Mm -hmm. Not gonna work, is it? <laughs> no, it didn't. I think that'd work. <laughs> he has three IP against him. There we go. Everyone gets greedy. Yeah, I'm not sure what to think about go go for the jugular. It's, it's really maybe it's in an interesting space. Yeah, I think so. I I I can't really say much bad about it. To be honest. No, it's, it's it's definitely punishing when you when you land def it. Yeah, when you land it, it's punishing. But when you when you fail to land yeah, it, it's certainly like that. Know, it's punishing for you as well. <clears throat> no, how is that a miss? How is that a miss? In every way conceivable, probably. Oh, <laughs> that was not a miss, however. I'm gonna be doing some jumping here. Just jumping, walking away and jumping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can keep doing that forever. Xenta69 uh, says, to be honest, you should do these maybe 
uh, twice per month while you're developing PvP just to alleviate some of the uproar along the way. Give the obnoxious PvP obsessed players more of a chance to share their autism. Um, put it up in announcements though. Uh, tell people you do this one uh, a week or more ahead of time in the actual announcements. Yeah. yeah I don't know about that. Seems a bit, a bit too often perhaps. But so maybe we could probably we should probably do one more before we release it at least. Arguably. Oof, little wily, wily SOB. <laughs> I got on. I got owned. I got school dog. It's definitely true that fighting is going to take a lot of time if someone's just you know trying to disengage and trying to move away and being. Yeah, of course, but that's true on the current system also. Shortly, probably, perhaps, perhaps even more so. I I would argue. There we go. <laughs> I got him. <laughs> really happy about that. All right. That seems like a great note to end this on. I usually end me and Lost, mine and Lost Ours development sessions when I win. So, um, <laughs> so I'm going to do the same here. Um, yeah. I, I don't know. I think uh, forwards seems the best way to me, at least. I don't know about you, but I, again, like I can only, only reiterate what I said earlier. When no one was speaking. Heavily against it. For okay, sure. so vigilance isn't here, but yeah. if he's the only one, then maybe that's uh, <laughs> yeah. And, and 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 I thought it was objectively fun. And yeah, well, I mean, we well, uh, which I don't really doubt. I mean, that was never the uh, that was never the issue, though, was it? No, but it seemed it seemed like others could have a good time with it as well. Like the lag didn't seem like an issue. Also, Salem had a sim similar system, and like no one ever really complained about the the. Uh, I'm not sure the, that's entirely true, but. But uh, it wasn't it wasn't like the common thing that people complain about. No, sure, and, and it wasn't the it wasn't the constant complaint for sure. But uh, yeah, good question. Perhaps I mean there's still the uh, the potential issue about comma about custom the applying modifications. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. But then again, uh, I mean, again, it's not obvious that that client modifications are a problem. No. I mean, I'd like to think that uh, that forward is the is the way to go. I I also I, I also enjoy the system, so it would be nice if it could actually work out. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm I, I think I have just more fun with it than I have with the, the presently running one, and <clears throat> I don't know. Yeah, but again, that wasn't really what was in doubt either. Uh, Adder thirteen forty two says the delay was noticeable, but I uh, never felt it stopped me from playing competitively. Mm -hmm. That's good. I mean, you still have a lot of like room to to manage the latency, so to speak. Yeah, sure. Like, not like. I mean, you can you can pace yourself and move in and out of combat. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think we should keep on working, and uh, I thought this was a lot of fun, and it was fun to try out a group fight. So, are you yeah, for, for that reason, if for no other reason, we should probably do a stream like this again, where where we explicitly aim to test a group fight scenario scenario. And I think I think there should be like maybe some improvements to Valhalla in terms of like I don't know, landmarks so that you can tell where, where the F you are on the map. Anytime you want to go in and modify that map, you just go right ahead. Right. That's <laughs> just up to me maybe. So uh, yeah. Uh, I actually found this leprechaun spot uh, game performance itself way more punishing than pain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The current delay on attacks alleviates lag massively. Want a list of Valhalla improvements? There's probably one of the fun. Okay. All right, guys. So this was a lot of fun. Thank you all for joining in and for helping us test the combat fighting system. If you have further thoughts on it, there are threads on the forum, and uh, we'll do this again hopefully sometime soon. And it was fun to have Loftar on, and it was fun to to test out some fighting and. Uh, 
So we're going to keep iterating on the fighting system, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. You got any f closing thoughts? No, I'm, I'm still trying to process it. Right on. So, not sure. All right. Uh, take care, all. We'll see you for the November stream at the very least. And uh, uh, fight still op knock cleave span. Probably, probably. And Jaguar, of course. Sure. But I think. Not exclusively. So not, not, not exclusively. Like, you have to use punch. You have to. You can use kick. I think you can use left hook as well. I think most most of the moves have some use, mm -hmm. right? That's been my experience. Mm -hmm. So, uh, this was a lot of fun. Thank you for the stream. Christ bless you. God be with you always. May his light shine upon you. Take care. Um, stay safe out there. Uh, God loves you. Blah, 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 blah. Catch you for the November stream. Thank you for caring and for playing here in heart. I'm your, he's Loftar, and we're out. Thank you. Good night, guys.